subscribers. Thank you for joining me here tonight. This is the Spy Options Trading Channel. And tonight is Trading Tip Thursday. And I'm so sorry that I'm just getting uh, to this video. I had to do a couple things that I didn't realize that I had to do. And I'm just now getting around to doing this video. So I'm so sorry about that. For that, I have two uh, tips that kind of go hand in hand one another. And that is tip number one. <clears throat> Do not paper trade for too long. You guys, I know certain people that um, when they first start trading, uh, they try to paper trade, which is good, um, absolutely, but that will only get you so far. Why? Because it's a lot easier to say that you, you're going to buy here and sell there. That's so much easier. Try actually executing on a trade and putting your emotions and your real money into play. It's a whole different ball game, guys. And believe me, take it from me, it's so hard to, um, to control your emotions when you're first starting off. And not only whenever you're first starting off, even seasoned traders, uh, it's still hard to control your emotions and leave your emotions at the door. Instead, <clears throat> paper trade it uh, for maybe a week or so. Try to get the feel for the flow of how options or, or stocks or ETFs, whatever you're, you're trading, whatever instrument that you're trading, get a feel for how it moves. Uh, get some sort of idea. Uh, we all have to start out somewhere. But then, when you actually go into actually putting in your trade, let's use for example, let's say you have a thousand dollars to trade with. That's your starting capital. Awesome, great. Instead of actually trading uh, that whole thousand dollars, I don't ever recommend actually trading your entire portfolio at, at one trade. Never do that to begin with. Instead, break it up into chunks. Say you have a thousand dollars, go in with two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. It's a small portion. Sure, if you make money, you're not going to make a whole lot of money, and that's fine. That's not necessarily what it's about when you start off, but it's best to get your feet wet a little bit at a time and get a feel for how the markets actually move, how your trades are going to get executed. That's another one. Um, you, don't, you don't get that feel of putting in a market sell or a limit sell and actually executing your actual money. It's a lot different, guys. Seriously, it, it really is. Whenever you're just paper trading, it's going to fill you in at the best possible price. That doesn't necessarily happen all the time. I'm sure from watching my videos, I, I tell you a lot of the times whether um, I got a good price or I got a bad price. And uh, anyways, break up your, your, your money into chunks. That way, if you lose, it's not that big of a deal. You're, you're not breaking the bank, so to speak. And if you make money, great. It's only going to be 5, 10, 15, 20 bucks. But hey... Anything is better than losing, right? And those are your two tips for your Triple T Thursday. If you like trading options or you like trading uh, period, please hit that subscribe button uh, down below. Like and share my videos. Comment below as well what you think about my videos. Do you like my videos? Do you hate my videos? Um, maybe um, give me some ideas for the future, uh, something that you might need help with, something that you would like me to talk about. Uh, anything that I can do to help you, let me know. Comment below. Thank you so much for watching.